Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll quickly have a look at how we can set up Ike v2 or IPsec uh, VPN using NordVPN. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to go to this link here and download the root certificate. Uh, the root certificate is for NordVPN. Uh, there it is. Just click on that to open it up. And then it brings up this um, certificate information screen. You would click on install certificate for local machine and then accept the um, Windows um, authorization and instead of automatically selecting the store we will place it in trusted root certification authorities right there finish now after this you can close this window um, I'll leave this link in the description uh, you need to go into MMC Microsoft Management Console run it run it as administrator uh, and this is what the MMC console looks like uh, to open this you just um, run mmc.exe like that you just run mmc.exe and this should open now go into file menu and add remove snap-in select certificates for computer account finish so this brings up your certificate management tool for the local computer which means you're adding a certificate to your local certification authority now this is how some of the viruses and spyware take control of your computer so make sure that you're uh, importing the right certificate I'm just gonna uh, go into here certificates and find NordVPN NordVPN root CA so that's the certificate now right click on that and click on properties ideally this is what will be selected which means everything the certificate will be used for everything you need to go through and uncheck everything except server authentication I've already done that if you had this checked like that um, you can just uh, highlight one of them press the space key and then go down and uh, just keep pressing space that's the fastest way I reckon you can get that done now once you selected server authentication only just click on OK which it only gives that certificate certain privileges not all of them having all privileges is not good so that's why you need to cover all bases uh, now once you've done that you can close MMC console you can close that now the next thing we need is the credentials for NordVPN log in to Nord this is what it should look like go into under dashboard go into NordVPN and it will show you your renewal auto renewal and the expiry and all that sort of information what I need from here is copy the username and password under service credentials once we copy them over we can uh, we can close this that's fine once we have the credentials we go into the network connections and um, I'm gonna go back one step so go into network and sharing center set up a connection or network click on connect to a workplace account and then pick uh, use my internet connection and then we can give uh, the information here I'm just gonna call it Nord VPN in camel case check remember my credentials and we need to enter the internet address you can get that using the following tool so that's the URL that you need to go to and um, I will include this URL in the description of the video so once you uh, go to that link it sh it'll tell you what server to, what's your ideal server to connect to and once you've got that you can go here and enter that under the internet address uh, have the name remember my credentials and then you can go ahead and create now after this is created you still need to go in and enter the logon details to do that in Windows 10 you can go to your settings in Windows settings go to network and internet and then VPN got this Nord VPN here go to advanced options edit and this is where you gotta pick or change uh, settings you can also do it from here go into properties under security make sure 
uh, you have this selected uh, MS Chap 2 and uh, this has to be a require encryption type of VPN is IQ2 and I think that's all good uh, turn off the v6 protocol so these are the, these are the settings you need to change once it's all done you still have to come here and then here you need to enter the username and password so I'm gonna enter the service account username and password that I just copied uh, once you're done save that and then go back home and then I'm gonna go into my settings and then try to connect to the VPN and there it is it's connected so now if I just go to uh, what's my IP uh, it's showing me 103.212 and this is not my usual IP address mine starts with triple one let's verify that so I'm gonna disconnect from the VPN and then I'm just gonna refresh the page and there it is mine starts with triple one so that's how you can uh, set up an IPsec a VPN or IQ2 VPN on your Windows 10 computer. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.